In this video, we're going to have a look at um, some systematic listing and why this might be a good idea to know about this for probability questions. So let's start off with an example, and perhaps we could extend this example to think about probability as well. So for a special meal, customers at a pizza parlor can choose a pizza with one of the following toppings. You've got a selection of five things there and a drink from that list. But we've got a selection of three. How many possible combinations of toppings and drinks are there? OK, so what we'll do is we'll start by thinking of a way to write them all out um, in a very calm, systematic way. Now, to save time, I'll just use the first letter of each one of these to reference that particular topping or drink. So what we don't want to do is just write down anything we think of. So, for example, mushroom and cola diet cola pepperoni right there is no order to this and we have this danger that we might miss out one of the uh, possible combinations so we need to treat this very very carefully so maybe we just start off with ham and write down everything that could happen with ham involved we pick ham first well we could have ham and cola we could have ham and diet cola we could have ham and orange and then move on to mushrooms so okay we're gonna have mushrooms and cola mushrooms and diet cola mushrooms and orange now from here you can probably already guess how many uh, total combinations we're going to have we're going to have 15 because i'm going to do this five times i've done it for ham and mushrooms i'm going to do it for salami and i'm going to do it for pepperoni and i'm going to do it for tuna and so you can clearly see you don't even need to carry this through to the end you can just see this just from getting started in a systematic way so we're going to have 15 different combinations okay in this case we just times them together right moving on so for three flavors of ice cream vanilla mint and raspberry ripple are available at a shop each is served with a topping of either chocolate or strawberry one possible order for the vanilla ice cream is for the vanilla ice cream with chocolate topping right a list of all the other possibilities so again we can treat this in a systematic way let's start with vanilla ice cream and we've already got the um, uh, chocolate so we better write down the strawberry and then let's move on to the mint and we can have mint and chocolate mint and strawberry the right we can have the raspberry ripple and chocolate raspberry ripple and strawberry so the answer is going to be if there are five and that is the list for the other possibilities Okay, cornflakes contain a free model dinosaur. There are four different uh, models, the Brontosaurus, the Stegosaurus, the Tyrannosaurus Rex, and the Diplodocus. A mother buys two packets of cornflakes for her children, list all the combinations of free gift possible when the packets are open. So this one has to be treated a little bit differently to the previous examples. We need to think carefully because we could have a repetition here. So for example, if we had a brontosaurus on our first um, packet, we absolutely could have a brontosaurus again in the second packet, right? So we need to think carefully about this. So let's imagine we do get brontosaurus in our first packet. Well, what would happen? Well, we could have brontosaurus again. We could have the stegosaurus. In fact, we could have all four of these, right? So these are all just the possibilities that could happen when we have the brontosaurus in the first packet. So then we consider, well, what would happen again? What are their likely outcomes if we had the Stegosaurus first? Now, straight away, you can see there's going to be another four, right? So in this case, we are going to have four different columns, aren't we, in the end? And I'm not going to write it out this time. Um, OK, and each one is going to be four long. So that means how many different outcomes are there going to be? 16. Now, the question does ask us to list them, so let's just quickly list them, right? Okay, so S, B, S, 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 T, S, D, T, B, T, S, T, 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 D, D, B, D, S, D, T, D, D. And I've written them in the same order, so I'm careful I don't miss anything at all. Now, why is this important for probability? Well, because we might be asked a follow-up question, what is the probability of getting two brontosauruses? So, of course, the probability of getting two brontosauruses, well, there's only one of those outcomes out of the 16 that is that particular thing. So that means the chances of getting a B, B 
is going to be one out of 16. Um, however, maybe I've got a more challenging question, which is what's the chances of getting two different, uh, two dinosaurs exactly the same from both packets? Well, I would have four different possibilities there, wouldn't I? I could have BB, SS, TT, and DD. Well, that is going to be four out of 16, because there are four equally likely things that could happen. Uh, sorry, four um, different possibilities out of the 16 that are equally likely to happen. We could simplify that down to a quarter. So we can apply this very carefully and quite easily to some probability questions if necessary.